you've lost your one and only, or you lost your only one. Just sing a little song, it won't be long, and the blues will go away. Um. We're not sure if there's any weapons or not, but the clerk in the 7-Eleven called and said that uh, they're fighting and it's getting worse and worse, whichever, whatever that means. So we're going to go check it out. We're just up the street. 102. Hospital 416 animated Brooks, and uh, let's see, come out with, uh, without, I'll be out with two. What happened? Brooks, I'll see. I thought I did this. Your brother did it. Yeah, he went bam, bam, bam. And, and he took my baby with him in his arm. I found. And he knocked me out. My mother punched me right here because she wouldn't take me home and my baby. There's a head full of blonde hair in there. I don't know if it's hers or hers. Yeah, why is he 450 or right now? What's, what's your name? And my wallet's in her car. All right, we'll get we'll get the wallet in a minute. Okay? Just calm down, Mo. We'll get the medical out here and take a look at you. How you doing there, shorty? When I was you want to give me the other one? Or you want to be stupid two. again? No, you get smart with it. Okay. Uh, you guys asked me though, dude. Now we'll play my All game. Right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna win. Now I'm gonna ask you again. Short version. Yes. What happened here? They were in the car, and then they just started. It, I told my mom to get gas, and so she pulled in here. And then they started thinking, oh, you want to do this to me? And they started talking about boyfriends. And then next thing I know, I told them, you guys, both stop. And then they just started hitting each other, pulling each other's hair. I had my sister. I got bangs, and she started pulling my hair. Then, and then I go to get my sister. I'm trying to get the baby out of their hands, because the baby's going to end up getting hit out of one of them. And they're both throwing swings. And I'm just trying to get my nephew out of the whole thing. I go into 7-Eleven, and I ask him, excuse me, sir, could you please call 911? And then he's like, well, he dialed the um, non-emergency number. Then he, I got to 911 there. My sister comes in, starts hitting me. Well, she didn't hit me. She just starts giving the baby, trying to pull me and everything. And then that's what happened. Then you guys got here now. You ever been arrested? Nope. Did he say if he... 433'd her? Is he denying that? Mm -hmm. He never touched her. Ask my mom. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do him, he never touched her. Uh, got in a fight. Uh, mother punched her in the jaw on this side. Brother punched her right in the eye. She was knocked out. She doesn't know how long. Okay. Why am I just lost in the closet? Well, we're just we're investigating right now, so it's just Why better to get everybody with. Okay. Wrong. Well, can you tell me what tell me what happened then, so I can understand what's going on? My daughter beat the out of me, and she over, looks worse than me. She stole over what? My... Over what? Well, because I'm driving, we're supposed to go to the lake. Uh huh. And then she got pissed off. So you guys were all in the car together, and you came to 7-Eleven together? No, because I pulled over here and told them both to get the hell out. Okay, she wanted her out of the car, and she didn't want to get out of the car, right? My grandson's in the car. And so what happened then? I my keys and then took the wipers and ran down the damn street and said, I'm going to get you arrested. And then she came back and then, God, I just punched her. Yes, I did. Put me in jail for that. But she was wrong. He punched God, her. God, yes, I did. I want both my children out of my... Just do something. Just... God. Well, I just want to make sure and get your story. Shut up. Okay. All right. Oh, look. I'm going to... Well, we found the keys. Did you so, find my purse? No, but we found a lot of your other stuff. Yeah, because she threw everything. Okay. Well, we're going to look more. Is there ID uh, well, or anything else? Um, yeah. Is it, a, is it in a wallet or is it just no. ID, just loose in there? Everything. It's my purse. What color is it? It's black. Where did she throw it at? Where were How you guys? How in the hell do I know? She well, you know better than I do. I came from across I don't town. Know. Okay. If I knew, you'd think I would have sat in the car. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we'll keep investigating and find out what's going on. All right. We'll look for your purse. She's not a happy customer. In this state, young man, does not mind doing that. They're, They're not yours. You're you're 15, but you don't have them in your pocket, huh? Go ask my mom who those are. I don't even smoke. Sure. In this state, we have a thing called domestic battery. 
you're related in any way, shape, or form to somebody, including boyfriend, girlfriend, and you hit them. I didn't hit them, dude. Ask my mom. That's I'm it. honestly telling you, though, dude. I'm not lying. Is this yours? That's not my mom. Huh? That's not my mom's, because I just picked everything up when I was seeing it. Well, if you watch him, sure. I'm gonna see if mom claims he's sick or something. Yeah, that too. If I'm on the ground, this might be one of them. Okay. Bible's mine. The poem's mine. Yes. And what about these? Those are his, right? I don't think so. Okay. Who's the 450 the on this? The mine. Huh? Who's is, is it? And the poem is mine. Okay. There you go. The poem in the Bible is mine. That's my first. Where's my sheriff's card? Your what? Well, this I have a is sheriff's not yours? card. What? Yeah. Where's my sheriff's card? Yes. I have, I, I'm a keynote supervisor. Is my sheriff's card in there so I don't have to I pay I don't know. It I'll back. look for it. It should be zippered up in the front part. Okay. Okay. Let's look. I have not done nothing wrong. You find out. That, God, you know, my I... son didn't do anything wrong. It's my daughter. Well, right you know, now he's lying to me. I'm looking for a sheriff's card. I don't card. appreciate being lied to. Oh, he's trying to protect one of no, us, but well, she is wrong, I swear to God. Huh? She tore everything out of the car. She <laughs> that, well, the cigarettes, because I don't let him smoke, okay? okay? That's why he's gonna lie to you about the cigarettes. Okay, I'll let What am I supposed to do with her? Turn around, look at me. Turn around, look at me. Yes, I am. You've been drinking? Yes, I have with okay, her. Okay, I don't see any marks on you, but she's got a heck of one on I, Well, because I just punched her out good, and I'll go for everything for okay. that. Okay. Fine. It's all he said, she said. You know, everybody's pointing fingers at everybody else, and the only one that looks like they got injured was uh, the daughter. But yeah. she had the child in her arms the whole time, and I think that was the determining factor on uh, who went to jail for battery. I think they endangered that child by fighting like that. How you doing? Good. The reason why I stopped you is you made the lane change in front of that van. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That guy in front of me, I thought I was going to hit him there. Yeah, that's fine. Just hang tight right here. How you doing, Sarge? Good. I was just driving around and uh, watching these guys. They both, look, they both look like meth heads. This guy's a security guard. For me. So. OK. Scary. <laughs> Did you see him? Yeah. They, they both yeah. look like meth freaks. And when I'm watching them, the one guy reached over. I don't know if he put something in the console. I'll probably get him out in a minute. But he, he unbuckled his seatbelt at the same time. This dude's got like a lighter ready in hand. I don't. He's got a lighter and a flashlight. Is your car in park? Excuse me, yes, park. Okay. Can I see your license, your registration, your insurance, please? Where are you headed? I'm taking him to work. Well, sir, if you would go ahead and step on out, please. Let's move back in front of my car. Sir, keep your hands out of your pockets. Just move right over there, sir, if you would. Richard Lawrence Kennedy, get a break 12. Just turn around and face that way. Six foot 180 brown and green. Goes one through the city for proof insurance required, bill 910. Just step right up to the car, please. Uh, your license plates are currently suspended for mandatory insurance. Did you uh, step back over this way? You're going to get hit by a car. Um, did you get like a, uh, in an accident or? No tickets for no proof of insurance? Uh, long time ago. Sir, if you put your hands together like you're going to clap or pray, don't interlock your fingers. Fill them out straight. No, no, no. Put your hands together like you had them. There you go. Sometimes they grab them like this. It hurts if you got them interlocked. Back up. Back up. You've got no weapons or anything on you, Greg? No, I gun right there. OK, other than that, there's no other weapons on no. you? Is your identification in there? I like I'm going to shock no, myself. It's got an on off on it right up top. Handcuff key? Change. No, it's long cylindrical object. object. What's this? Can I take it out? I don't care. What are you doing with the pipe? What am I doing with it? Yeah. It was just happened to be there. What kind of drugs do you use? Is there another one? Yeah. What kind of drugs do you use? I'm not using drugs. Um, you see that thing that just dropped out of your pocket? Yeah. That's also a pipe. When was the last time you used? Probably middle of last summer. What's that? Probably middle of last summer. Middle of last summer? Why are you carrying pipes on you? I, like I said, I just, uh, I borrowed the shirt. I mean, 
You borrowed I, the shirt, you borrowed the pants? No, the pants are mine. Okay, because I found the one pipe in your front pocket, and then I find another uh, pipe up here in your shirt, so no, now you're pants, telling me. The pants are mine. Huh? No, the pants are mine. All right, I'm just going to type right up here. If you would go ahead and just turn around and face me, please. All right, just stay looking at me. OK, what happens is I get this little piece of paper here, and what it tells me is all the uh, symptoms you get from being under the influence of a CNS stimulant, which methamphetamines are a central nervous system uh, stimulant. It says your pupil size should be dilated and your reaction to light should be slow, OK? Uh, if I use your friend as a control group, right? I you, you, I do him. His pupils react to light very quickly, like your pupil is designed to do, and I do it on you, and I'm getting a real slow reaction. So uh, uh, that's pointing to me the fact that I think you're under the influence of a control substance right now. Uh, Would that have any do, anything to do with the fact that I just woke up or anything like that? No, uh, sleep right. has nothing to do with how your eyes work. Your, it's an involuntary muscle reaction. You have no control over it whatsoever. Right. Having no sleep, your eyes are red. Now, that would be from no sleep, but not, not to do with the dilation of your pupils. I smoked a bowl of pot, I mean, a couple months ago, but I, that was... So you're telling me right now, if I arrest you for any influence of control substance, I booked you down there, and when they take your blood, it's going to show that you're not, you don't have any kind of methamphetamine in your system at all. You're not going to come up hot. I mean, you know you're high. I know you're high. You just don't think I know yet. You see what I'm saying? You, you need to be honest with yourself, because one, you need to admit you have a problem, because you need to get help if you're under drugs and you want to get off of drugs, and you need to admit you have a problem. Okay? I mean, I know you're high. It's painfully obvious. I do this for a living. Okay? You know, I mean, you're sitting there telling me you're, you're, you're not high. I'm telling you, you're bouncing. You can't hold still. You don't even see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, you're high, right? Uh, yeah. Um, I got stoned. How long ago? Well, I'm assuming probably three, earlier four today. Hours ago. Okay. Three, four hours. Okay. Are you being honest with yourself? Okay. Do you want help? Do I? Yeah. yeah. I mean, right. You need to get help. Cause... So is this yours or your girlfriend's? That is hers. Her, her is this, is this like yours? Hers and yours? No, you have your own mine. private stash? You have like his I, and hers? I, no, I, no, I don't even buy it. Okay, how do you use it? It was just given to me. Who, who gave it to you? She did. Where did she get it? I have no idea. She, I met her. I don't know. She's kind of a, I would just say it, a whore. I don't know. How do you, how long have you known this girl? Four months. Here, stand yes, facing me. No, hang on, face this direction. Face me. Feet together. Follow my finger. Keep looking at my finger. I'm I want sorry, you. I'm sorry. I want your eyes to go cross-eyed. That's a perfectly natural reaction when you do this. Okay. Right now, you're not on the influence of any kind of marijuana. Anytime you're under the influence of marijuana, your eyes will not converge. Unfortunately, you, you, your eyes are going cross-eyed. How long ago did you smoke it? I it's been about four hours. What'd you smoke it in? Just a regular little pipe. Uh, uh, where's that pipe at? Well, who's ever pipe that was? I don't know. There was a bunch of people mm. standing just outside. Shit in there. You want a belt in? Yep. Are they double locked? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and hop in. Yep. People that have these problems are just like alcoholics. They're people in every walks of life, and they just have to admit they have a, a problem and uh, go get their problem solved and get it fixed. Officer in Las Vegas is a, a bit of a unique experience in that this is a 24 hour town. You would think that on graveyard, as in most places in America, at 3 o'clock in the morning, most people are asleep and in bed at home, and there's nothing really going on. Whereas here, just the opposite is true. Nighttime is kind of the best time for people to be out and about and partying and doing whatever it is that they do. Um, the casinos, the hotels, all the gaming establishments are all open 24 hours a day. So it just it never stops. The city never sleeps, and graveyard is as much fun to work as any other shift. One job through, we'll be
Okay, the vehicle in front of us is uh, driving through a very high drug and robbery type of crime area. Uh, he ran a red light and he's got a tail light out. So basically want to stop him, check into status of driver's license, anything else, maybe question him as to what he's doing in the neighborhood. A bit of an investigative type, type stop. Control North 34467. North 34. And Henry Adams Ever. I'll be in the uh, northeast corner of Sierra Vista and Swenson. One three four. Control three king three code four. Control twenty six flight left for the event. Twenty six flight is twenty two forty eight. You might turn the vehicle off for me, please. Huh? Turn the vehicle alto sucato, por favor. Alto sucato. Off. Yeah, shut the car off. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? My name's Officer Kegley with Las Vegas Metro. No habla inglés? No. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Poquito? Yeah. Okay. Why you stop me? Why did I stop you? Mm -hmm. The red light right there at Cambridge and Lisbon. Or the red the stop sign. You ran right through it. I do stop. You did not stop completely. Yeah. Uh, I'm not arguing with you. You didn't stop all the way. Okay. That's I'm telling you. That's why I stopped you. That and you also have one of your taillights is out back here. Venga aquí. Right back here. Venga aquí. Okay. Aquí, amigo. Right there. Here? Yep. Aquí. And then just face the car. Okay. Alto, no metal. Aprende mi carro. Sir, do you have anything sharp on you? Huh? Anything sharp? A pistola, a knife? No. Can I look? No. Huh? No. Can I check? No, no problem. No problem? No okay. Problem. Mano aquí. Mano, mano. Right here. Yeah. yeah, back here. Back here. Hands together just like this right here. Yeah. Turn around for me. Look at me right here. Okay, yeah. take it and touch it right here. Go ahead, go ahead and do that now. No comprende? Yes. Your finger? That's right here. Partner? Partner, 413. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around, yeah. I don't understand. It's either an AR or it's an AK, I haven't pulled it out yet. Really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and step into the car. Right here. I got it so No momentum. Where is it? It's an AK. Oh, yeah? SKS. And chambered. What is that? What is that? Is it's that yours? Friend. No, it's not mine. It's not yours? It's not mine. <laughs> okay. You're a, you're a spare bullet. I'll tell you what, I'm going to see if there's a G unit on and see if he knows anything about recent drive bys well, I mean, where a high powered thing, I mean, automatic this, rifle yeah, is used. Yeah, this is custom down and everything. I mean, the guy put a bunch of nice little happy sticky oh, yeah. stars and everything on there. So. I mean, so at the very least, bike. we're taking the car and we're taking the gun. Oh, we're absolutely taking I mean, he's even got this thing out rigged with a bayonet. Yeah. I mean, this kid's ready to rock and roll. Security has been advised of this. And it's clean. I mean, this is something that's, that's upkeeping this thing. Even the woodwork is polished for the most part. It's got a couple of dings and scratches. <laughs> this kid's got the bells and whistles and everything on this thing. Someone was going to do something bad. What's doing in there? What's in the car? No, just the one rifle under the front passenger seat. Locked and loaded. And you don't know whose rifle it is? What? You don't know whose rifle it is? How do you say? The rifle? The SKS? They don't, they don't speak any English at all. I don't know how it is. They've, they've both been Mirandized, too, in Spanish. It's not mine. No, no, no. Underneath the passenger seat. He's got jacked up to his car. Cease and desist all crying tonight. <laughs> Boys are wired. <laughs> oh, you got to wire it up to his car, man. <laughs>
Careful, careful. Oh. Jesus. Back. Can you hit that one? On further interviewing the driver, he admitted to having some problems with some, some gangbangers earlier tonight. We checked the rifle, it wasn't stolen, and we couldn't tie it to any other crimes, so he'll never get his rifle back. So that's one more dangerous weapon that's off the street and out of the hands of someone who may, may potentially use it to harm someone. Most of the people out here are great people, a lot of nice people, law-abiding, hard-working, middle-class people, and they're just doing the best they can. But you got your 5% out here that are causing the most of the problems. And those are the 5% I'm always dealing with. And they're usually the ones who are committing crimes against their friends. I mean, so today's victim is tomorrow's suspect a lot of times, because there's a lot of retribution and retaliation type crimes. An officer's got a stolen moped over in uh, some apartments over off Greenwood Avenue. Uh, he said he was chasing it. We're going to see if we can go there and back him up. With white piping on the sleeves, Clear there, following the suspect on the moped, back in behind, then back toward uh, Scott at this time. Coming right at you, coming right at you. Scott uh, is on Scott at this time. Chapel, Franklin and Chapel. Northbound Manchester. Scott now, Unknown Street. Matthews Place northbound from Sharp Avenue. Northbound on Matthews. We're heading right toward uh, Hal Garden Apartments. He's going to the backyard. Have to go back around. What? Everybody get back. Everybody get back now. Everybody back up. Back up. I don't care who he is. Back up. Everybody back up. 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 
Back up. Stolen vehicle. He's running from the police. Back up. Back up. Oh, man. Stop kidding that about that, man. Everybody ain't stolen. Back up. Yeah, that's the one I was chasing. Me too. Crowd control. Yeah. Crowd control, please. When you said that he was running north through the alley, I knew the alley just ran east and west, so I come out there on spot well, and he come right out. North from me. Greenwood, uh, the apartments there, right, came went through. Right. And you know, it was only this wide, so I couldn't quite get my car in. I, I know. I went everywhere else, that's though. That's why I knew when he said he's going through the back of Howe Garden, like he can't get through there, so that's why I come out on Scott and he pulled out right yep, in front right. of me. That's what he did. He was coming out of uh, Greenwood and then turned north there at the yeah, full way. He went. And he pulled right in front of me. I saw him come. I said, that's it right there. You know, what, he, what he did when he got there, he, he drove it down to the bottom. And I stopped and I was trying to get out to see because I thought he was going to ride on back around and cut back on the street. Yeah. And that's why I said he was standing there. I'm like, what is he doing? You know, well, it was mom and all his brothers. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Al. Sorry about that. Thanks, Hoss. What is your question? He was in the house playing on the CD player. He come out. They bought that from a guy. Are you asking me or telling me something? I'm asking. I want to know okay. what's happening because okay. he just came out the then house. Then ask me what you want to know. Okay, what's going on? Okay, we got a report that that's a stolen moped and that he was running around Lane Garden Apartments. We pull in behind him. I chase him for at least five minutes and he's refusing to stop trying to ditch us. So we got him for felony evading arrest, okay? All I know is he was over there doing that. I don't know what he was doing five minutes. I don't know what he was doing five minutes before that. Bob, yes, sir. You got him under arrest? Yeah, yeah he's under arrest. Transport. Okay. Get me on there as a witness. Since I chased him most of the way. Not all of it, but thanks, buddy, for picking up my slack. I always can count on you to take care of the light work. <laughs> I came down from New Jersey to Nashville just looking for a change. People like to make fun of my accent, but uh, it's all in good fun. The uh, citizens down here are very friendly. The community itself is growing very rapidly. We have a pro football team here now. And uh, that's my main reason why I to become a police officer, just a variety of things to do and a variety of calls and just a lot of different people down here. I'm 97. Uh, 10 four. He's supposed to be a male white with brown hair, green shirt, and a black skirt, exposing himself to passing cars. That'll be him. We're going to pull up on this call here. Got a report of a male white here. Had a knife and was waving at a passing motorist. And he's right there. Turn around. What happened, bro? You got a knife on you? No. No? You got a report that you were out here with a knife in your hand, flashing yourself and showing a knife at passing motorists. You don't know anything about that? What are you wearing a skirt for? It's a Scottish kilt. Scottish kilt? Are you Scottish? I am Scottish. What do you got in here? Wine. Wine? You don't know anything about what I'm talking about? Sir? No? Well, whose stuff is this here? Yours? Would this be your knife? Yeah. I bought it downtown Broadway. So do you know anything what I'm talking about? Yes, I asked him when I bought it. I said, is it legal? And they said, yeah. Have you been out here? Have you been out here exposing yourself or no? I'm not, not here to hurt anybody. I'm on vacation. So we're just trying to uh, get along with everybody and so anyway, go home. You're on vacation? Well, I got a motel room at Murfreesboro Road. Where are you from? South Carolina. South Carolina? What are you doing here in Nashville? Singing, trying to sing. Trying to sing? Put that cup down. Do you have any identification on you? Not actually wearing a kill. It's not actually. You know. 
California? You said you live in South Carolina? Well, that's where I'm from. I went to California and then came back to that. Well, thank you. So, are, where are you living right now? Uh, motel. No. You told me you were from South Carolina. You said he bought it downtown somewhere. Well, these guys said he was out there acting the Oh, did he? Yeah. So how come those guys said you were out there acting like jumping around? I mean, we got a call that you were out in the middle of the road, flashing the knife around, exposing yourself. Exposing what, man? What do you mean? Exposing yourself, pulling up your skirt. No, sir. Never did. Simple. Did you pull the knife out on anybody? No, sir. You never flashed it at anybody? It's been sitting in that bag the whole time? No, sir. So they were lying is what you're saying? Dart board. You were throwing it at the board? Yeah. And, and what are you doing here in Nashville? Singing. Singing? I'm a country music singer. What songs you sing? Well, my first song is I Got a Rock in My Pocket. My second song is uh, You Can Sing Away the Blues. And my third song is uh, Going Home to Tennessee. I got a rock in my pocket. How's that go? I got Jesus in my pocket. I got a poncho in my shoes. I got a rock. The pocket and a nickel in my other shoe. And if that rock gets hot, turn around. You ain't in a real good spot, so you better be moving on down the road. Because do re mi fa so la ti. Do re mi fa so la ti. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Oh. Wait, and you said you know three songs? No, so you can sing away the blues. How's that one go? Have you ever had the blues? Mighty good news, you can sing away. If you've lost your one and only, or you lost your only one, just sing a little song, it won't be long, and the blues will go away. Those are the, those are the verses that you know? It's all right now. That's it? You haven't been flashing anybody? No, sir. You sure? Yeah. What do you got underneath the skirt? I don't know if you want to know the... Do you have anything on or just your skirt? I under it. What do you got under it? You know what I got under it. Oh, you mean underpants and stuff? Yeah, do you have any underpants no, on? No, no, no. You just have, there's nothing, just a skirt? Yeah. Would it be possible that you were bending over to pick up your knife or something and motorists might have seen something as you were bending over? Could that be possible, maybe that happened? I could have been bending over to pick up my knife. Okay. Now think about what you're doing out here on the streets in front of everybody. Don't don't have us come back out here, all right? We're gonna keep this today and not take you to jail. How about that? We appreciate you being here. So you, you you can put your you can put your stuff back in the bag there. Go ahead and get your stuff. Take off. Get your stuff to guess. Yeah, you're bending over. Maybe somebody saw you doing that. Yeah. That's probably what it was. Thought you were flashing them. Your girlfriend left. Maybe that's why she was standing behind you just now. You got to be careful when you're wearing a skirt every time you bend over, all right? You're supposed to, like, bend your knees. It's a lady like that. When you're wearing a skirt, you got to bend your knees. There you go. There you go. That's the way of doing it. No, you can't have the liquor. Is that your board? You got any more songs you want to sing? Okay, I gotta, I gotta practice. All uh, right, well, you go home and practice, uh, and we'll see you on the TV pretty soon. Uh, okay. Not the video in the, in, the, in the jailhouse. No, no, not there. We'll see you on CMT. Oh, uh, CMT. With Shania Twain. Yeah. Okay? Bye, y'all. Come to you. Have a good day. I originally came down here to do what I can to try to stop drugs. And I've had people come up to me and say, you got me in a program and it made a difference. This car is just pulled out from a drug house and it looks like they've made a buy. They've made a traffic violation now, so I'm gonna try to stop them. 45. These guys are obviously trying to buy. So I'm gonna find out what their problem is. What's happening? Hey, you got your driver's license, my man? What'd I do? Driving reckless? 
or careless, where you're having problems shifting or something, you're no. jerking around that you're moving that wheel pretty hard. No, well, see, he's got a little bit I didn't know which way we was going. Step out here and talk to me for a minute. I don't have a lot of cigarettes. Y'all just stay there. Yes, sir. Step on over here for me for a minute. What were you doing? I didn't do anything. What are you doing? Come on now. Don't play me. I've been out here for a while. I just I thought he was going that way, and he said no, and so I just, I didn't mean it. No, when you pulled over in front of the crack house, what were you doing? Don't play me. I've been here for a long time. I made a lot of stops there. What crack house? The crack house that you pulled over in front of, and either they waved you on, or you didn't get a chance to buy or something. No, he said he knew the guy there. I don't, I don't know. He said he knew some guy there. Whose truck is this? It's yours. You got the registration for it? Yes, Step over there and get it for me. I'm going to check in here real quick. I don't want to get him out quite yet because he's got a valid license. So I'm going to take a look in this cab because these guys are acting kind of nervous. Hey, guys. Is there going to be anything inside this truck or on y'all that maybe shouldn't be in here that with a little bit of honesty I need to know about now? Huh? Just hold still there for me, guys. Step out to the other side, both of y'all. If everything turns up being all right, y'all gonna be walking away from this, no problems, okay? I just go to Mason's house, you can verify that. What are you, a professional drug user or something? Goodness, I've never seen so much stuff. Look at this. He's got a whole bunch of crack pipes, razor, one crack pipe, two crack pipes, three crack pipes, four crack pipes, razor blades, screens, cocaine straw, ends to hold the crack. Shovers. <laughs> it's an antenna. They break off antennas off older cars and turn them into crack pipes. How long you been smoking crack? What? What? How long you been smoking crack? I smoke weed. You just smoke weed, you don't smoke don't crack? Drink. You don't smoke crack? Uh, I drink and I smoke weed. Uh, what do you think all that stuff is? Well, what do you do? What do you do with that stuff then? Whatever they do with the stuff, I guess. I don't know. Whatever they do with the stuff, I have no idea. But you don't smoke crack with that stuff? I'm an alcoholic, sir. You're an alcoholic, but I'm you don't smoke alcoholic. crack with that stuff? No. You don't. Then I'm what do you do with it? What? That stuff? Yeah. You do whatever you want to do with it. I don't know. I don't do nothing with it. You don't do nothing with it? I don't do nothing with it. <laughs> I... What? <laughs> Stand up for a minute, man. You got any more on you? I ain't got nothing on me. Turn story. around. Turn around. Put them behind your back. This is far as I can see. Man, behind your back. I can see, see the scar on the self See, this is yeah. far as I can bend my arm so far. See, I'm no trouble. Man. Okay, okay, put them in front of you then. Okay. That's as far back as you can bend your hands, right? Well, that your left arm. arm. That yeah. Left arm. What happened to it? Oh, I was born with a birth defect when I was back in ninth grade and stuff. I had an experimental operation. Mm-hmm. So. All right, now. You just hold still for me, all right? I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. Go over here and have a seat on that stone wall for me, okay? Don't run. How do you know this guy over here? You know, this guy I used to work with, mm -hmm. he knows this guy, Twan. Right. And Twan knew him, and I was just doing him a favor. Well, let me tell you something. You don't need to be picking up people like this, because, I mean, look at this. I know it. I mean. If I'd have known by God, he wouldn't have been in my truck. Normally, when I arrest people, if I arrest them for drugs, they got one pipe on them. But I've never seen it. This guy's got up to five to six oh, pipes. That's, uh -huh. not, that's not yours? No. Where'd it come from? I have no other idea. Did it just magically appear? I have no other idea. 
where they're thrown from. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. If I can find out who you are, you might get a oh, state citation. I will give you everything. I don't know. If I can confirm who you are, you might get a state citation, but you are getting a state citation okay. for drug paraphernalia. Okay. There you go. I won't keep my mouth shut. Go on over and okay. get your stuff. The rest of this is mine. Be sure to show up or they're going to take a warrant out. You're getting off kind of free here. Y'all's on a crack street in front of a crack house. You had a crack user, and I, with more pipes than I've ever seen in my life on one person. Here's your license. I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Hold still for a minute. Here's your license. Everything turned out all right for y'all. It's turning out a little unfortunate for him, but I mean, you're going to have to watch who you pick up and watch what kind of streets you're driving on. All right? And I'm done with you. Somebody that's got that many crack pipes either has a really big problem or he's a really big pack rat. <laughs> I've never seen so much drug paraphernalia in my life on one person. You know, it takes a special breed to be a police officer. You gotta be a, like a psychologist, a, a father figure sometimes. You know, it's like a bunch of kids. You just gotta rein them in, you know, and give them a little spanking every once in a while when they need it. It's just something I enjoy doing. I like helping people. 40, 47 report check. All right, we're en route to a family disturbance involving a boyfriend and girlfriend. We're going to be backing up another unit. This trailer park is known for its family disturbances. We make quite a few arrests out of here. So we're going to go inside and make sure everybody's OK, arrest those we need to. 4730, Barbara George. Yeah, here we are. Let's get out and see what we got. There's a woman at the front door. How you doing, ma'am? Did you call the sheriff's department? Yeah. What's the problem? Um, we got into a fight and he's in the house. Did he do all that to you? Well, when he pushed me down, my glasses, my other glasses had broken and just scratched my face up. But... Is he inside now? You got any weapons? Mm, no, not like a gun or anything. No, was he intoxicated or anything? No. What was the fight about? Just everyday things, I guess. And Is that the only damage he did to you? No yeah. other damage? Yeah, that's about it. it just... All right, what's his name? Timothy. Timothy? Is that your husband? Or... He's my boyfriend. How long have you been together? Mm, about a year. About a year? Take your glasses off. Where's he at? Inside. You want to file on it? Y'all live together? Yeah, we do. How long y'all been living together? Um, about a year. About a year? Y'all common law or what? Yeah, you could say that. 1431. We have a child together. 14,102. Let's go talk to him for a minute. Okay. Okay. Entry is the back door. All right. What did you say his name was? Timothy. Timothy. How you doing, buddy? What's up, bro? Not much. No weapons. Man, you ain't got a warrant to be in here, buddy. A warrant? What's the deal, man? Here we go, baby. No, baby. Come on, man. Please don't. Just settle down. Here, baby. Turn over. 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 Turn Please don't fight. 
fight it? We well, ask him to come talk to us. He's the one to put up the fight. Yes, I know that because he's scared. Scared of what? He didn't want to go to jail. He wasn't going to jail, and that's what we told he him. He didn't know that. Well, if he would have listened, he would have known. We told him he wasn't going to jail. We just wanted to talk to him. He's the one that threw up the fight, not us. Still, I can't see why y'all was doing all that to him. He fought us first. What do you expect us to do? Let him hit on us like he did you? No, I didn't say that. Well, he's the one put up the first blow. I'm not gonna let nobody hit on me. You shouldn't either. It's obviously he's out of control. He first he beats up on you and then he wants to pick a fight with us. That's out of control. Somebody like doesn't do that, just, you know, there's something wrong, he needs help. And this is the first step. This is not what I wanted. And we understand that. You know, and that's what we were going to ask. We're just going to talk to him, let him go. So it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. And we're going to talk to him, and hopefully he won't blame you either. All right? Well, I he some, is, because I called you well, I got some information I'm going to give you. I got a, a sheet of phone numbers if you choose to seek help for him, you know, and help for help you out on your bills and maybe release some distress for Christmas. You know, we get a lot of this at Christmas time because everybody wants to make a good Christmas. Okay? So I'll be right back, all right? Just get in the back seat, man. I can't worry about you. Yeah, what about them babies because you fixed to go to jail? All I want them to do is talk to you. We did a whole lot of talking, didn't we? Well, babe. I'll never forgive you for this, Brandy. Did it, man. Why did you do that? Why did you go Why did I do me? what? Do you, do they even know how you are, Brandy? How you act toward me, how you yell at me and treat me? How I become that way? Do they know? No, they don't know you. All they were they gonna know do you. is they talk to you. They know me because you. of what you told them. All they were gonna do is talk to you, baby. Oh, well, baby, what, what are they gonna talk to me about? Listen. Do you want me to get you out? Don't that waste doesn't our matter. rent money. No, that doesn't matter. I'm going to get I you out. I just made that shake. That's all I got. I Pay the rent. That's what happens around Christmas time. Everybody gets into the money problems, and they, they cause arguments between the spouses. And you know nobody wins this situation. It's like this couple. They had uh, had problems with money. And they probably got into an argument with, about the money crisis. And the ones that really lose here is the kids. So that's who I feel sorry for. I'm a police officer for 10 hours of the day, but as soon as I get home, that gun belt goes off, the shirt goes in the closet or in the hamper, and it's forgotten until till I have to go back to work. It doesn't really affect my, my family life. If anything, it, it's helped me become a better, a better father and probably a better husband because I can see where a lot of these people make their mistakes, and, and I don't make the same mistakes. I'm lucky to have a very good family. You know, we've never really had physical fights the way I've seen out here, you know. Uh, sure, we've had our, our shares of uh, verbal arguments, you know, but nothing ever has ever been physical the way I see it out here. Keep an eye on these guys. That's our paint huffers. Get ready. Right oh, say, come here. Go. I'm okay. Don't move. Okay, I won't move, man. Don't move. I'm not moving. Stop touching up. I'm not. I'm not. Look, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing, man. Please. Man, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Don't move, man. I'm not. Hey, I'm not moving. Hey, I'm not doing nothing, man. Okay. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing, sir. Get up. What are you running for, man? The car Huh? I was doing spray, sir. You're doing spray? Yes, sir. 
I was doing a sprint, that's right, sir. What'd you throw? Huh? What'd you throw? The spray? Where at? Huh? Where at? I don't remember, sir. I don't even know about bread. I threw a spray, okay? I was looking, I'm not, I don't know what to do. Do you have an idea or anything on you? No, sir. That's why I ran, I got spray. Spread your legs. Yes, sir. Come on. Sir. Take off running, man. What's wrong with you? Come on. Get down. Have a seat over here. I told you you were slow, man. You're too slow to outrun the police anymore, man. Uh, Have a seat real quick. There, there's no case. So just be aware of that. Yeah, I got it. It's going to be uh, possession, utilization of inhalants, and evading arrest. I'm going to retrieve the evidence and take him in. He's a known pain huffer. Uh, we've arrested him probably a half dozen times. Basically, this is what they'll do. They'll spray this paint inside these cans. Uh, they use silver, they use gold. Uh, it's a real big problem down here in, in Corpus Christi. <coughs> uh, the paint gives them a short, short high. That's why they have to keep putting it up to their mouth. Uh, he'll be booked for possession, utilization of inhalants, and also arrested uh, for evading arrest, which is also a Class B misdemeanor. He'll be booked at the county jail. Needed. Yeah, he's, uh, he's clear. I ran him. Ten for him. Thank you. Okay. The guy, the other guy that took off running, mm -hmm. that's his brother, Juan. This one's Juan. Jose. They both live over here in the 700 block of 24th Street. Okay. Uh, they're identical twins. If you run across them again, right. they're, like I said, they're, it's real hard to tell them apart. Uh, I know he took off over the fence. Would he, he jumped that fence and come back around this way? Is what no, he did? No, what, what he did was uh, we were running back down this way, and right where that guy's coming, went around the fence there, and he tried, he tried to climb it over. He kind of fell down, and I kind of just like grabbed him, kind of brought him down, and uh, you know put him in a bar of hammer lock. Good job. Uh, he's always bragging how he likes to run from the police. He's He's getting old. I told him he's not as fast as he used to do. He couldn't run from the police when he was younger. He still can't. <laughs> Joe, yes, sir. how long have you been on spray, man? How long? How long? How long? How long? How long have you been doing it? Well, talk to me in English, man. Since I was young. Since you were young? Yeah. How old? How old about? Started since I was maybe 11. Something. 11 years old. And how old are you right now? About 32, 32. 33, 32? Why, why, why do you keep running from police, man? Huh? Why do you keep running from police? I have the spray, I think, man. You like spray? I said, I got the spray. Yeah. Oh, you got the spray? Yeah. Okay. So you get a kick out of it, or what? What you mean I get a kick out of it? Well, you know what that stuff does to your brain? Yeah, I know. Is it worth it, man? Be careful, man. Kill yourself, bro. And what they do is they spray the, the silver paint or, or gold, those are the two, their two favorite colors. They'll spray it in these cans and then they'll walk around with this can up to their nose and they'll walk around like that all day long. Uh, this particular guy, Jose, you know, he, I've been dealing with uh, for nine years, and he, you know, an easy nine years. He's, like I said, he has a twin brother. They both walk around the whole west side of town. It's a different paint. Uh, you, know, you talked to him a minute ago, he said he's been huffing paint since he was 11 years old. So. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine he's pretty high right now. But... And once those brain cells are gone, I mean, they're gone. They're not, they're not going to come back. So, you know, he, he used to brag about how quick he was when I first came on the department, and we would chase him, and, you know, every month you can see him getting slower and slower in his reaction time. You saw when he saw us, he, he hid the can, and then he threw the can, and he took off running. His, just, his reaction is just slowing us because of the paint. Who's the runner? Juan. Yeah. Who's the him. My partner chased him. Did a good job. Good deal. Yeah, he yeah, he gave him a he gave him a run and start. He said, uh, I had to wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. You know, so he good deal. He we'll gave him a good run and start. All right, hey, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Okay. All right, be careful. All right, David, see you later. Okay, David. Be careful. Take care. Maintenance of uh, equipment is another responsibility that we need to face. The uh, 
uniform and the rest of the equipment we carry when we do our inspections it help us and remind us to stay on our toes and uh, keeping our weapons clean and functional. And uh, we want to present ourselves as professionals, so it's just another responsibility that we face every day. Very nice, ladies and gentlemen. Have a safe night. We just got dispatched to a fight call outside of apartments over here on the 20 100 block of South Alameda. Supposed to be two males and two females. I think the other units just now arriving. We'll see what they got here momentarily. Police. What's going on, guys? Who went out the back door? Uh, my father, I'm having a real big problem with him right now. He's drunk What's the ruckus about? I don't know, man. He started yelling. Does he live here with you? Yeah, he bit me right here. He bit you? He hit me. And he lives here with you? Right. What's he wearing? Uh, he's wearing a black t-shirt, some blue jeans. What's his name? Uh, David. Yeah, he's leaving right now, man. Delta 350. Okay, my partner went out to look for him. Is he by any uh, ambulance or anything? A what? We had a spank man running out the back door. Uh, he's gonna be black t-shirt and blue jeans. Uh, be involved in assault. What's his name again? Uh, David. Okay, stay here. Let's check out the area real fast, okay? <clears throat> three fifty to three sixty. No location. Didn't hear nothing. Come here, guy. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 350 got something in the rear running. Come here, guy. Chill out, man. Hey, that's my son. Turn around, no, turn around. You have your hands back. Man, that's my son. Chill out, man. Hey, that's what he did to me, man. I heard, man, Nobody but you don't need to hurt him more. Man. Put your hands back behind your back and chill out. Look what he did to me, man. <laughs> Move your hands back behind your back. Three fifty, subject in custody. Why are you hurt, man? They beat me. They beat the me. Who did? Uh, that's my son. I know that. Three second ten point, subject in custody. Good deal. Back behind the house, and we went to uh, the yeah. other one before. Stop that again. Come on, yank you back. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, to your knees. There you go. Walk on out to the front here. I got it. Go ahead and face the fence for me for a minute, okay? Right here on the right. Hey, man, I'm the face the fence. Yeah, there you I'm go. The father, man, look. I'm What's wow. that, bud? What's the problem? We went to that next yard, and then uh, he was going to try to make the next fence after that, but he, he's a little intoxicated. He couldn't get up there. I bet you got a local 28. He's been to jail. He's, he's been down the road before. He knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Oh, you want my problems now? You put him in jail. I'll be that. Done deal. We're going to go up here to the police car. You ready? Bend your knees. Ready. Hold on. Bend your knees. Bend. We're going to pick you up. You bend like you're standing okay. up. Ready? Up. Do a better search on him in the back of the car, towards the rear of the car here. Do you see what street this was? No, I didn't. Okay. Face the trunk Face right the here, buddy, right Face here. I took care of this guy, man. And uh, he sits up here and I don't know. You have no idea what he's so upset with. I really don't. 
and uh, I didn't do to him. I was asleep. I wake up. He hits me, bites me, and, and wants to start some more. He, he wants to sit here and fight. And uh, I don't know. That, that was like the last thing from my mind, from, from him, my father. You know, I, I sat here and I told him many a times that I can't hit you. Yeah. Maybe his other son could, but I can't do it. I can't bring myself to sit up here and abuse him. Says, I just can't do it. And uh, he sat up here and abused me for, for, for I don't know, for, just because he walked home. And uh, Oh, because he walked home from somewhere, huh? Right, he walked, he walked home from a bar. And uh, for some reason, I'm at fault for it. Okay. You're going to be charged with the uh, family assault and also for evading us since he took off and jumped fences, tried to run from us. Let me see your arm. Hold your arm up. It's already bruised. Little teeth mark. I'm gonna go out to my car and give it a little notice paper for you, and I'll write down the report number, okay? And I'll give you some instructions on how to take care of it. Be right back. Give me just a second. Yes, sir. Well, Dad's gonna go to jail tonight. Son's gonna go to bed. A couple minor injuries. This is not getting any worse. Tomorrow's another day. Alcohol again, alcohol again.